Good afternoon, morning, <laughs> evening, or night, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this episode of the Jar Media Podcast, or as it is now known, the um, Orga 8 Podcast. The what? The Corncast. We're on the Corncast. Um, so today you're joined by me, your host, Orga, um, <laughs> Jamie, to my. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Left, and then we've got. Uh, I'm to your right. I'm upside down. Okay. Um, we've got Ruben, and then we've got um, Alex here as well. How are we doing today, ladies? Yeah. Um, I'm pretty good. Yeah. Fine. How How have we been finding the recent week? of uh quarantine life how how has it been treating us all yeah yeah uh-huh <laughs> nothing nothing new or um, are, we all, are we living it in a absolute paradise of calm tranquility and gardens of zen uh-huh bit of this bit of that 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 is absolutely fantastic yep. i love to hear that in my in my world uh i actually get exercise now so i am very happy what do you mean what have you been doing you know i've been doing you know we live in such like a a lovely area as you can see in the background it's 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 lovely and i've been i've been deciding recently that during my lunch break i'm gonna i'm gonna walk guys and i go over the road to you know all the fields because in the small town that we live in no matter where you go there's fields you can't escape fields. our life is fields Pretty much. So, I go over the road to this, you know, massive hill. It's like a, it's like a forty-minute walk. It's a nice walk, you know, all around this one field, down another. I do a bit running as well to, you know, get the the blood pump in. And there's one thing I've I've started to notice that has really been getting on my nerves. Do you know what that is? No. Fucking dog walkers. People yeah, okay. who own fucking dogs. Right. So, like you and me. Yes, but okay. We live in the country. I it gets on my nerves when you go to these fields that you know there's there's nothing there. They're fucking fields. They're empty, and you see people walking their dog in a field on the lead. It fucking winds me up because it's like it's a there's nothing here. There's no fucking danger, and like you're having your dog on a fucking lead. I hate it. What if it. it's dangerous? It, 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 what do you mean dangerous? <laughs> they probably just want it on a lead so that it doesn't approach other people during COVID-19 times and other people don't panic because they've got this dog jumping around them and then the owners have to be too close to each other. That's and... not the thing, though, because this, this has been a thing for... I've noticed this for literal years. People just don't ever take their dog off a lead. They're the same people who, will, instead of walking to the field, will walk by the side of the road. Like, what life does your dog have if you can't even let it off a fucking lead? It bothers me extremely. I'm just really some angry some dogs are crazy. You can't trust them. No, but that's the thing. They're, they're bound with people or other dogs because the owner never let them off to socialise as a puppy. So, of course, they're going to be bound with people, going to be bound with dogs because they haven't been brought up properly. But what about, like, like greyhounds where their instinct is to chase, <laughs> like, bunnies? That's, that's, that, greyhounds are, like, one of the only, like, exceptions because they're, like incredibly difficult in regards to like letting them off the lead but even then i've seen greyhounds off the lead yeah i feel like there's That's... a controversial opinion so add that to the the list for this episode i'm not i'm not going after anyone but when like you see like a, a dog that should be off the left like like gaius for example he needs excessive exercise because he's that breed so when you see like dogs like him like working dogs on the lead in a field just a I just, I really don't get it. I don't understand why the dog can't just be off the lead. Well, you can't, you know, unless you observed a trend of the same people with the same dogs time and time again, you you can't presume that it's not just that one time. So... No, but I've noticed this for like a a long time and it's like different dogs, different people, and they just like... Well, maybe just that one time, all of them, they just had the dog on the lead that time. Yes, but then I I do. There's a pattern because I see those same people. 
like every every other week I'll see that same person and the dog will still be on the lead. And it's like there's there's nothing in this field to be like there's most of the time in this field there's no people there. Like today, early morning, there's gonna be people there because it's early morning walk. And then there was like I saw three people, only one of them had the dog off the lead. That's pretty bad. And I, I'm I'm probably just ranting because you know I'm in You calm, know what? But... I'm gonna shoot you. Shoot me, kill, do it. Put me out my misery. What are your thoughts on that, Jim? Well, uh, you know, like <clears throat> this bit, of this <laughs> bit, of that. Ah, oh, right, yeah. I've discovered a new warp by me, which. Uh, oh yes, nice. It's pretty cool. I've Very quite nice. A few steps today. Quite mm. a few indeed. Very nice. Mm. What's mm. your record? <laughs> My record? Yes. Mm. <laughs> I'm not like, what do you mean? <laughs> your of step time, record. Your step most of steps. In a single day. Okay, you get get prepared to be blown out of the fucking water, cuck boys. What? Uh, 25,000. Yeah, I think mine is 30. 30,000. <laughs> Nice. God, I'm just very nice. My, my oh, step I like it. Uh, No, that's not that's not true. I don't. Okay. <laughs> no, no. I can prove that uh, mine's more. Oh. Let me just get my phone and go on my app and then find from like three years ago. I'll have more. But that is actually a really good like um, amount and it's kind of very healthy. So I am I am I'm pleased with Alex for for that. What else is there to do? In life. At the moment. You know, work out. It's exercise or workout. That's all you can do. Do you want to know how <laughs> many steps thing. I've done today? Yeah, it's the same thing. How many have you done today? <laughs> One thousand nine hundred. Well, that's not bad. I went for a little walk. Got two thousand. So you know, <laughs> we're doing okay. We're keeping away all the the bed sores and shit. And our we're probably like I'm obese. You obese as well. <laughs> Sitting in bed, can barely move. Covered in sores. I'm like that all the time. <laughs> oh, it's, looking it's back good. a couple of weeks ago, um, the 21st of April, uh, it was a Tuesday. Um, I did 73 steps, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's like going to the bathroom like three times. <laughs> <laughs> How many was that? Uh, See, lowest I I've got is 427. That's like going to the fridge and the bath. Well, hang on. Could be wrong. <laughs> you might be lower. <laughs> you laugh, but maybe I'm just not addicted to my phone like the rest of our generation. <laughs> Who's with me? <laughs> you know, it's you, disappointing. You cause... Me on it. Man. You used to do all this walking and now I ain't walking. We're a beast. We're... Th this <laughs> is the... Um... This is the changing point in human history where uh, gamer problems become a spotlight. This is this is uh, oh, the, the big... our um, prime minister was saying about how he's going to double down on this obesity problem we have because he realised that if he wasn't overweight, his his COVID symptoms wouldn't have been as bad or some something like that. That's Conspiracy like, theory. Did Boris Johnson ever actually have COVID? Probably. I, I can't But what if that. he didn't? Well, he was a bit of a silly goose then, wasn't he? <laughs> a cooked that goose. That brings me on to something else, actually. How, okay. Okay, so you've just got out of bed on a, su a sunny Sunday morning. Let's say tomorrow. It is actually <laughs> meant to be reasonable weather. So okay, yeah. I can imagine it. So it's not it's nice weather. What, okay, what, let's say tomorrow. What do we? What do you do in the morning? What is the first thing like plan of action? Take a piss. Yeah. Woo. Immediately. Like, what What would you feel, like do to to like you you get up at nine? What yeah. Would you between uh -huh. like nine and twelve before like lunch midday. What 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 would you do? What's your usual routine? Um, have a coffee. Maybe eat something. That's about it. Sit at my desk for a while. Okay, do you know what I do? This, this I've got a Masturbate. weird... Masturbate. Is that it? 
This is what we're going to end. is another masturbation episode, because I don't know if I can stomach that. No, this is not another rank of pond. <laughs> my, my point... Well, I'm, I have this weird thing. It, it doesn't matter what day it is. It, it doesn't matter if I'm on holiday or the weekend. If I get out of bed and play any type of game or go on my computer before, let's say, 3 o'clock, I will end up going to bed at 8 o'clock out of depression. <laughs> Why? Because there's something about playing like games or doing that type of stuff before the evening. in productive hours. Your your it's it's a you it feels counterproductive. Yes, and I will be so severely like depressed from it that I I, I will stop functioning as a human being like for days. Uh, it's that bad. I will <laughs> That's low. Do you think that's a reasonable reaction? No, but no. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm like that. But it's, it's actually... <laughs> well, no, I mean it's. I mean, I guess it's understandable to, you know, sometimes if, if I get up and I don't, if I start doing leisure shit before I do anything productive, then I find it hard to, well, I mean, even if I stop, you know, playing the game I'm playing, if I've only played about an hour after that, it's hard for me to actually do anything productive, you know, I'm a bit like, sort of fucked it already, my streak is off, so I may as well yeah. just fuck it for the whole day. So you got your, you've got to start your day with a bang. And that bang is is the most important. Even if I start the day, if I start the day with one productive thing, then play a game for a bit, I can go back to the productive stuff after. I just have to start with one productive act. And what what is the most productive thing to do in the morning? What will set the day the set the day uh, up? Take like? a shower. I like that. If I can take a shower like early, which I've been struggling to shower before the afternoon, you know, I'll be awake for four hours, but I won't get in the shower until like one or two. I chair swap. Do that. <laughs> get out your chair. Yeah, thoughts, right. Jim. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think all, all, all of y'all are hoes. Uh, say that again. You want to explain yourself? Um, it's it's hard to explain because what does it mean to be productive? You see, myself, I class productive as um, it, get increasing my uh, rank on Call of Duty. See, that's oh, okay. I mean, you did pay for the game, so I guess. You know? Yeah, video games are just jobs now anyway, so... Yeah, exactly. so I think all, all, all y'all in my dissertation. hoes. No, not that at all. I don't think that's a valid point, Jamie. Why is that? Because, you know, I, I'm... I've, I've teetered on the edge of um, work... work... holicism. Uh, teetered on the edge? You fully fucking committed. Yeah, you yeah. eat workaholicalism for breakfast, lunch, and brunch. Yeah, you eat <laughs> uh, fucking uh, tuna out the can. But that also adds to the point that at work, at the moment being in quarantine, I'm not that good. Difficult to actually be good at work while not actually working. Quit then. No, because I need my job. Can't Why? Quit because, well, because society says I have to have a job. <laughs> Why? <laughs> That's wrong. No, that's why. No, we need homeless people. You, okay, so you're you're electing me. Is this a jar election to be homeless? Am I representing <laughs> us if I'm homeless? <laughs> huh? I'm not really sure what your point was, to be honest. Yeah, what, what <laughs> I kind of zoned out. I actually then? kind of zoned like, out for you all about? 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what are you talking about? You gonna lost it, James, man. <laughs> I lost it quite. Have we got to get your chair turned the right way? Though. All the blood's going to your head. <laughs> you guys said before we started recording that you had some controversial oh, opinions, <laughs> and I want to hear them. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, this chair is very okay. I I have a, a controversial opinion that is gonna that's gonna change the way mankind <laughs> actually perceives you know entertainment. Okay. Okay. The dark light is not that good. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I was waiting for this day. Boring opinion. No, no, I, no. no so you know what? You'd have, you'd have really fit in, you know, some of the classes I've been in. Uh, 
<laughs> listen, listen, listen. With the European like film cunts that are like, oh no, it has to, it's only good if it's four hours long and fuck all happens. <laughs> okay. So on upon watching The Dark Knight for the first time, it is a ten <laughs> out of ten. Great movie. I absolutely love it. Can't watch it anymore though. Why? Because like the best scenes, they just they've lost their punch. So it's what? Like playing, it's like playing like Call of Duty Modern Warfare Two. For the, so how is the film not that good though? <laughs> it's not. It is good for some things. I'm not going to share those things, but what? <laughs> what are you talking about? What the fuck do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> what did you actually mean by that? I'm. T I'm not. Since watching that movie again, I just. Yeah. It's lost its punch completely. It just, <laughs> Stop the... misdirecting. What the fuck did he mean? What do you mean, what did I mean? <laughs> you Not said, like... it's good for some things. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like that. No <laughs> wink to the camera. Well, yeah. It is good for some. What, does the, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> I can't share that. It's, it's secret. What does it mean? What does it mean? What is there in the mean? Dark Knight that is, like, sexy? What, what the fuck are you talking about? Is it Christian Bale? Of course. <laughs> anyway. No, no. All I'm saying is, it's you've got to be able to look at a movie for how enjoyable it is to rewatch after you've seen it the first time. I'm sorry, everybody. He right. won't be coming back. And <laughs> Dark Knight is not doesn't doesn't do it. Dark Knight Rises on you. Oh, hand. don't you dare. The Dark Knight Rises on <laughs> fucking a rewatch made me angry. It's the yeah. best of the series. What the fuck? No, now you're just being <laughs> obviously you're trying to fucking bait. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Contrarian James, at it again. My fucking <laughs> controversial opinion wasn't even that controversial. No. You just come in here with your fucking unbased nonsense. You know what? I'm fucking going shoot you again. <laughs> <laughs> because you know I'm true. Oh, no. I know you're true. <laughs> what the? What is this auger shit? Do you keep saying? <laughs> I don't know what you're referring to, Alex. You said you literally said that was your name at, at the intro. My name is Or. Well, this is the secret, Alex. Auger, auger. What do you do while watching the Dark Knight? Boom. But why? What do you mean, why? What is there in the Dark Knight for you to auger to, as you're putting it? It's just so fucking boring, it's something to do. What? This guy's just talking shit. Okay, Wolfenstein, better series than fucking Doom, the new ones. That was all I was going to fucking say. Oh, damn. No, but doesn't that latest one kind of ruin that a bit? Oh, well, I don't know if anyone counts that anymore. Is it called Young Blood? Yeah. Because it's not even like a full game, is it? It's not like a whole game. It's like a 20 quid, 25 quid kind of piece of shit, isn't it? I thought that was what it was this whole time. Mm -hmm. Am I wrong? Yeah? Yeah, that is um, what it is. Well, yeah, and it's just... Uh, any, so I, I'm just going to ignore that. Um, I just, yeah. I Wolfenstein, the New Order, and the New Colossus, and the Old Blood are way more fun and way more engaging than Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal. That's my fucking take. I can't get the correct read on Doom Eternal because when it first came out, everyone seemed to like unanimously love it. Yeah. But now more people are bringing things up they don't like about it. I just think it's I think it's very fucking unfun. Killing enemies does not make you feel like the Doom Slayer looks. You know, does not make you feel that way. <clears throat> Is it like you really feel challenging like, though? Um. Yeah, but in a way that doesn't. It's not like uh, I'm trying to think. I don't know. I'm gonna say that playing Halo Reach on or Halo on on like heroic or legendary can be challenging, mm -hmm. but, but the game's still pretty fun to kill enemies. You know, you you know. You played Halo Two, dog. I I can use an energy weapon and then I can shoot them in the head, and that's reasonably fun. Yeah, okay. Halo Two doesn't count. Fucking, we don't talk about that shit. But Doom Eternal, I, I just found that every enemy takes much too long to take down, to the point where I'm just I'm just constantly irritated by it. And finding all these things in the levels, which you're kind of obliged to do because they're directly tied to how like powerful you can be, how, right. how many abilities you can have, and you know how much health you've got, all that shit, uh, isn't very fun. 
traversing those levels and looking for the secrets is just not that fun to me. Wolfenstein barely matters. You know, that barely matters if you find the collectibles in a level. Maybe like the armor yeah. statues or something. But even then. Plus it has a story. <laughs> so I'm like an actual story, so I'm immediately more interested. Yeah, I always liked Wolfenstein over Doom, but I mean it doesn't take much for me to like something over Doom. I've um I've already I've never played um uh I've never finished the original Doom, but there was like quite obvious problems with that. There was like framework for them to improve upon. But having played um is it the New Order? The New Order and Old Blood. Like those two games are just so good. Everything that's good about Doom is done better by Wolfman. You can you tear you you know, there are little Nazis that you can tear through and destroy and there's like some stealth that's you know, simple and easy, but it's still quite fun. Because I don't know, it just is. I can't really make a comparison to Doom because it doesn't have stealth. So you know, um, but that's the, that's the thing. Killing the Nazis in Doom, not Doom, in uh, Wolfenstein is quicker, but still, it, you can be overwhelmed. You can still be overwhelmed by enemies if you run out there like an idiot. They'll probably kill you. But you can still tear through them and feel like this, you know, Nazi killing badass. Can't do that in Doom. I don't really. I didn't really feel like a badass at any point in that game. Yeah, I wish. I That's could, the only way I can describe it. I hate the, the word badass, but all of us are kind of on the same page as you. So I never was down with the Doom hype in the same way. I understood why it was like good for the fans of that. I never cared about Doom anyway. Is the thing like I was never gonna yeah. make it. So. so yeah, that's that's my recent thing the Wolfenstein games but you know not to like the only reason I compare them is because well, well they have that obvious link to each other um mm -hmm. yeah but I did you know without trying to just shit on one say that was better I do just think Wolfenstein is very good I think that the new order is very good and I played the new Colossus you know sort of recently as well ish I haven't you know ages ago this is just me I'm going to replay all of them now is the point and I'm having a good time with the new order I think one is better than two in terms of that's what I've heard. I design. I just one is better than two. I kind of stayed away from two because I've had a lot of chances to play it, but I just had such a, a good time with the first. I was just like, I don't want to ruin that experience. No, no I mean two is still worth playing. Yeah, you know the story continues. The second one, yeah, it's more goofy. Speaking yeah. of goofy, um, I thought I've got. This. Oh. I've got my controversial idea. Idea? What's your yeah. controversial idea? Okay, so... <clears throat> we... We, <laughs> we all know how I'm like the music guy of Jar. Right. Um, I've been listening to a few albums recently. Yeah. Right. And I've li I've, I stumbled upon this sort of indie one. Uh... Uh... It's by this guy called uh, Kendrick Lamar. Oh yeah, yeah. I've heard um, him, I think. Yeah, uh, you've pro you might have heard the album. I think um, I told you about it once or something. Uh, and uh, it's called a uh, Good Kid, Mad City. Yeah. It's lame. It sucks. It's a it's a <laughs> sucky album. <laughs> it's lame. Do you actually think that? <laughs> Jesus. Uh, no. I'll go get I've, you. I'll go get I've, been, I've been listening to it, like, on and off. Yeah. But, I mean, I appreciate it, but I just feel like for every great song, there's kind of a lame song, I know. It feels like um, something I've missed, that album. It feels like you kind of had to be there. Like, yeah. Yeah, there possibly was a period between like 2012 and 2014, early like, 15 that it would have been a good time to have listened to it. Because, that, the, yeah. Some of the songs are undoubtedly still great, but like, I'm really not a fan of um, Poetic Justice. And it's not just because Drake is on it. 
<laughs> Although I would forgive <laughs> if it was. I always forget okay, that it's, it is. It's partly because Drake is on it. But I don't know, man. It just sounds like... It's very attached to its era, I think. Yeah. I don't want to use the G word, but I think it sounds a bit groovy. <laughs> What do you think, James? I need a, I need a chair. I'm, to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, just... I'm gonna completely disagree with you here. Like that album, like there's no bad song in it. Every eh, song wrong. Eh. I will listen to that whole album and have a bang in time. Then compared to one of his other albums, damn. <laughs> oh, you knew that hell. was going. <laughs> one of his other albums won't name any names. Damn. <laughs> Absolutely James hates damn so much. <laughs> Uh, this, is where, this is where the marking criteria comes into place you know the majority of the album has to be good to be good <laughs> if it's not good if, it, if that majority is not good it's not a good album and damn <laughs> does not does not hit that criteria there's like two good songs loyalty is like incredible that's uh, one of the best <laughs> songs on the album it's better than any song from uh, that's, good no, good that's, that's scientific <laughs> See, this is, they were doing this yesterday they, this is just a thing that they've been doing what recently not, trying to annoy I'm, I'm being truthful damn it's not that good oh no no i mean you saying about loyalty though that's the thing i know you don't think damn's very good like loyalty, i was so loyalty. hyped for damn at the time <laughs> you know but it turned out to be tell and it's I, not terrible it's just it's just sort of all right. <laughs> yeah, I'm geek and I'm fired up. <laughs> All I want to, uh, is just get high. Up. <laughs> oh, you look so good. It's die for. <laughs> yeah, you look so good. It's die for. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Is, where uh, is James right now on this? I I, I oh, cannot I listen to uh, like if oh, if yeah, an album nice. actually makes me want to go back to it and listen to it, it's a good well, album. Nice, I don't nice. ever want to listen to Dam. I've got a weird relationship with Dam. How? <clears throat> How so? Like, I appreciate that it's cringe, but it's the good kind of cringe. <laughs> you gonna elaborate no. or leave it at that? <laughs> Uh, there's not much more to say on the subject, I'm afraid, dear brother. Now, we have to say, though, we have to actually, you know... Yeah, say, we, we do. I have something I actually have to say. To pimp a butterfly oh. is not as good as... Um, I have shut said. up. Shut up. It's nothing no. to Kendrick, though, so I'll say it after... James to pimp says. a butterfly is leaps and bounds his best album. No. What were you saying, James? About what? To pimp a butterfly. It's, about... it's not as good as Good Kid Mad City. Alex, you've listened to Good Kid Mad City. You told me you hated it, if I remember correctly. <laughs> no, I just... It's um not my favourite. <laughs> Get him. I, I've listened... There's not many songs from to Pimp a Butterfly I'll actually want to re-listen. Which, compared to... Good Kid, Mad City is, is quite bad. Well, I think that's the difference. With Sapimba Butterfly, if I listen to it, I'd probably listen to the whole... Actually, Good Kid, Mad City, I do that too. I'm more likely just to listen to a track from Good Kid, Mad City, though, than I am to Pimper Butterfly. Well, I'll likely listen to the whole album. Want a dick on a shirt? Check the description below. Good afternoon, morning, evening, all night, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the second half of this Jar Media podcast. Um, <laughs> we are currently on an absolute gorgeous mountain range in the Pacific. Um, you know, just, just wind in our hair, having an absolute blast. <laughs> Drinking <laughs> pina coladas and stuff. Titties flapping in the breeze. Yeah. <laughs> no, you don't have pina coladas. You have um, just neat whiskey. And that's the only thing that's acceptable. When I'm on a holiday, I'll do whatever I want. Well, good luck going on holiday, loser. Shut up. <laughs> Italy has just opened its fucking borders for travel in and out. Yeah, for plebs like you, not for men like me.
<laughs> you guys ready for questions? For questions. Yeah. I, I got fuck all the substance right now. We, we got to do the questions chant. Go on, Reuben. Okay. Seeming as you haven't done it for a while. Uh, questions. 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 I don't know if there was a chant. Questions, questions, questions. James remembers. Yeah, James remembers. Do it again. Questions, 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 questions. <laughs> if you want to leave your own questions, head over to the Jar Media subreddit. You'll find you everything you need there. Please DM them direct. Uh, I hear everything <laughs> on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. Uh, Banana Ray is going to start us off with this one saying... What are your opinions on the weirdo jarlings who photoshop you guys into gay porn? The ones that popped up on Reddit recently seem to have had a lot of effort put into it. And I'm not sure if that makes it creepier than a meme Microsoft paint job. Nah, funny. Go for it. Just be, just get good at photoshop, man. Fuck it. You can do it. Why not? I'd prefer if it was, um, whoops. See, I'd I prefer think the fact that it's a really good photoshop implies the opposite. I think it implies that they have immense skill and it's effortless for them to do so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Damn. That's a if very you, if you good got point. It, flaunt it, you know? I'd prefer, though, if they did, like, deep fakes of us. Like videos and stuff? Of me and Ruben, specifically. <laughs> <laughs> just for the funniness, you know? <laughs> just for the humor. Yeah, just for the humor. So if somebody could get on that, I'd really appreciate it. Can they can they at least edit um, Jamie to be the um, Mexican? I'd really appreciate that. Be the what? Nothing. Huh? What did, did he say? say? What did he say? James is such a say? sneaky one. You, you realize it's being fucking recorded, right? <laughs> <laughs> you can't pull this while we're recording audio. What? I, what? <laughs> he didn't even know he's in a podcast. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's <for> life. <laughs> okay, Iron Hellmate 222 says, If you had to pick one fruit to have forever and all the rest would be destroyed, which would you pick and why? I personally would keep watermelon because they're tasting good. That was their opinion, not mine, because I would not choose watermelon. Yeah, neither would I. That, I would that. not choose watermelon. No. James, would you choose watermelon? This is my. Co I don't like watermelon. Okay, you. Well, then what fruit would you? Is anyone would surprised? You keep? Raspberries. Okay. I respect it. Um. Well, there's lots of options. You see, grapes are nice. Uh, strawberries are nice. As James said, raspberries, peaches. I. I got a definitive one. Okay, go on. Oh no. I keep. I keep bananas because you can make smoothies. You know, no, we all when... know why you're keeping bananas. Yeah, yeah, I knew that one. I guess that's your <laughs> answer by default, then, Alex. <laughs> I was going to say strawberries. Actually, they're good oh. for putting in your butt. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Nature's <laughs> butt plug? <laughs> no, no, that's a peach. No, that's nature's butt. <laughs> no, coconut. It's just Pineapple. logical to think about no, it. No, coconuts no. are the ones that go up butt, don't they? Exactly. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> um, I'd keep... Uh... I'd keep... Five... Four... Uh... I'd keep... Uh... Three... Cucumber. I'm just saying that pineapple is uh, is the fruit you want in an emergency. Oh, that's going in my cringe collection. Uh. <laughs> Why do you want pineapple in an emergency? Oh, I, I forgot I meant grapefruit. Oh. oh being... <laughs> Would you grapefruit yourself if you could? I'd have to remove a few ribs, but no. Why not? So you just remove the ribs anyway, would you? Yes, of course. Yeah. I'd do that anyway. Yeah, okay. I don't like that. Not a well, fan of that. What was the 
what was the responses to the fruit then? You didn't. I said yeah, banana. Right. You didn't say anything. Yeah. He said strawberries. Yeah, no, yeah, strawberries because you, you put said them cu- your butt. Do you mean cucumber? Do you actually mean that? I said cucumber. Yeah. Do you actually mean that? A hey, uh, when you can have a uh, when you can get a uh, when you can get a plowman's without cucumber. Let me know. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, Nat Figure says, "How often do the Jar Boys get recognised in public?" <laughs> um, rarely now that we're not going outside. Before quarantine, probably six to eight times a day. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is this is why I'm sneaky. Nobody knows my true identity, so luckily I've never been noted. What do you mean? Nobody knows your true identity. Well, Everyone does. Batman. My my true identity as Orga. I am a, a ghost in in the wild. Orga. <laughs> Is this James's new phase? We're going into Orga territory. I don't know how I, I feel suppose about it. Is. Yeah. Orga is the old ad form of James. This is it. This is. I don't think I was ready for another arc. Yeah, you just had an arc. It's somebody no. else's turn. For fuck's sake. You guys always ruin my fun. Fuck this. Um, how about this one then from Fate... Fatred Telephone Box. Who says, opinions on baths. Are they relaxing and calming or are they wastes of time bathing in your own shit and grime? <laughs> um, that's a nice rhyme. That was a nice rhyme. We'll think about I'm... it. I'm feeling qu- kind of... I think they're a pretty, you know, alright time. It's just I find being so tall, <laughs> it Being so tall, I can't really... I don't really fit that comfortably. <laughs> Sorry, your emotional story was really getting to me. Baths <laughs> are... Um, delicious. Yeah. I'm a big fan of baths. I, I actually prefer bathing to showering. That what? Yeah, yeah I'm with you. I, just I mean, it's much sure more comfortable, I... isn't it? Yes. It's just not very efficient. Yeah, just make sure yeah. you know I'm, my butt doesn't have like shit leaking out of it before getting in, and then yeah, pretty good usually. No, if I find lying like Geralt from the beginning of The Witcher Three in a bath is actually just so supremely. No, but it doesn't yeah. do the job of cleaning. That's that's the problem. Well, no, no, that's no, not see, necessarily I, the point. Then. I, I mean, I don't know. I disagree. This idea of when you get in a bath, you're filling up with it. Think about how easy it is to make water change color. You can put like one droplet of another substance. And it's like, oh, now that water's brown. One droplet of cola, water's brown. So really, and that water's not going to taste that much of cola. So if you think about it, you know, when the bath water goes like, you know, black from all your dirt, it's not really that dirty. It's fine. That's a good point. Also, what about bubble bath. Don't you have bubble yeah. bath? Doesn't that cleanse the bacteria? Bubble bath from SpongeBob. No, I'm talking well, bubble bath from a I mean, you know, funny show. If I have a bath, I still put like shower gel on me. You just got to stand up for a sec. Yeah, I do the same thing. And see my gross, sweaty, slippery pink body in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> I hear That's that. the only thing about baths. You know, you get it too hot, and maybe it's a warm day. Maybe, maybe, not even if it's a warm day, you can just get very hot, can't you? Yeah, yeah, you can overheat if you do it the wrong way. Yeah, but I, I tend to either run the bath too hot or too cold, and then just have the tap running while I'm in it. Yeah, yeah, it's a hard life we have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just infinite water. <laughs> What a luxury. Okay, how about this one? <laughs> From Juice Guy 50 Have mm-hmm. you guys seen the, <laughs> the Alvin and the Chipmunks movies? No. Um, well, I once. have seen I one of them. The, yeah, I saw the first one a while ago. I think I've seen the second one. When did you watch the first one? At school. Oh, wait. What? Like primary school? Yeah. <laughs> and did you like it? No. I thought it was really boring. Do you think it was lame? Even though Tobias is in it. Is he really? Is he really? Yeah. He is you don't it? even know who Tobias is, James. 
Toby Turner. <laughs> no, not that one. Toby yeah, Turner. <laughs> oh, you're thinking of Tabuscus. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> maybe I have seen them. I might have seen all of them at this point. I don't know. I have some weird... I don't know. Um, yeah, uh, they're really good. Fuck the haters. Really? Yeah, yeah they're genuinely r really funny. <laughs> Theodore. <laughs> Simon. <laughs> Alvin. Alvin! Exactly, exactly. You're just sat there waiting for the Alvin scream. And then you get <laughs> a spine tingling sensation as he does it. Spine tingling? Like anything. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, it depends if you're in the fandom to the degree I am. Right, right, yes, right. What is that constant burning sound? Yeah, I don't know. I do not know your. I have about. a question here you three can answer. Um, yeah. And I Ooh, don't have an yeah. answer for. Yeah. Um, yeah. Ooh, yeah. You can answer it. From Mild and Wild 420. He says, okay. Do any of you have a favorite gun slash loadout in Modern Warfare 2019? Oh. I know James oh. plays a lot. Oh. <laughs> if the rest Ooh. of the funnies have one, even better. Okay. James, you want to take it away? Okay. It, I think the loadout depends on the mode. I think for just for the case of conversation, let's talk about Warzone specifically. Okay. Yeah. Um, That's what everyone I, plays now, so... I will I will use an M13 with um, subsonic rounds and an ACOG. It's like perfect gun, silenced, you know, good at range, and it is just it can destroy when you you get used to it. Like I did yesterday, I did nine nine kills in a match. Really good match. We won. It was great fun. We did it's win. Just a great all round all round gun. Okay. Oh well, I I will go next then. Uh. You wanna you wanna get yourself. I'm gonna go into a bit more detail. You wanna get yourself the M13 with a 50 round mag, a suppressor, the longest barrel, and I like a GI mini reflex myself. I'm just you know that type of guy. But any one of those short magnification sights will do. Um, as for your perks, obviously it's cold blooded and ghost. And then for your third one, whatever the fuck you want. Uh, and your secondary should be an RPG, no matter what. I don't. I don't want to hear any yeah. excuses. You have an RPG on. Use the RPG oh. is is really good at the moment. Like you, you can easily just absolutely shit on people if you yeah. in the right circumstance because you can just destroy shields, and knock multiple of them down. It's it's a game changer. So you should always have an RPG with you just in case things go a bit um sour. And um, my final piece of advice is to play as a skin, which is like camouflaged. So, you know, one of the ones with a ghillie suit on. Surprisingly useful if you just lay down and don't move. People just don't see you. Yeah, we, we play as rats, literally. We are just yeah, a rat Yeah, team. we're just ratting. So, yeah, finally, Jim. Um, well, let me tell you a few things about the way I see it. Right. <laughs> um... Firstly, you want to start off, um, so, I'm like a shotgun person, if that <laughs> makes sense. Fuck. <laughs> I always like a, a pump action in, um, in my game, if that makes sense. I like, um, doing the animations and, um, sort of... <laughs> putting them in order of my favorite to my least favorite, if that makes sense, like that. Um, what the fuck are you talking about? Uh, Jamie's just trying to um, cover up the fact that he really likes the FAL. No, the he likes the Famous. Stuck. He likes the no, Famous. It's the best gun in the game. Um, yeah, I'm a normie. I use the M4. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not all about the, 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 those default iron sights. They ain't good, bro. I'm more of the, uh, the sort of a uh, bit of zoom, bit of not zoom sort of um, cringe. Maybe even a grenade launcher on there if you're feeling frisky. You know what I'm saying? Grenade launcher? Did you really just say that? <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna have to revoke your cod points now. Sorry. Next question, please. Christ's sake. 
Okay. Yeah, next question, please. Papers, please. Let's do this one from Big Schlong Warrior. He says, hey, boys. I need your help. It's my mother's birthday next Saturday, and I don't know what to get her. She's turning 40-something. So, so of you guys have and gift ideas, it would be <laughs> excellent. <laughs> <laughs> I will say I'm shit at gift ideas already, so I'm not going to be of any help. Well, seeing as um, we can make some assumptions based on the fact she doesn't actually know what her age is. But she's, <laughs> her expectations are probably fairly low. Get so her. She, she'd probably be happy with like some flowers and some chocolates. To be no, honest. no. You're going to get uh, the Echo Fool's uh, tropical flavor. Uh, £4.50 for a bottle of that. Um, then you're going to get her a single double decker just taped to it really crudely. <laughs> And I don't know, some sort of vessel to drink it from. Maybe if you get yourself a takeaway and you ask for a can of Coke, finish that out, rinse it out, sort of cut the top out, give it to her, drink her, her Echo Fools from, dip her double decker in it. Huh? That is a good, good, good choice. Get her an yeah. Amazon Fire Stick. <laughs> uh, yeah. Get her a uh, an official Warzone strategy guide, which can be downloaded for free, I think, as a PDF. Yeah, get her something that's good for you. Yeah. Get something like... Uh, mm. I don't a know. new spatula that doesn't touch the surface, not because... I mean, if I were her, I'd personally appreciate something, you know, like... Something uh, life-changing is one. <clears throat> I'd possibly appreciate a Saber from Halo Reach Mission Long Night of Solace, if I were her. Not that That'd Sam Smith cool. has a question for us. Sam Here? Smith? Sam Smith? Sam Smith oh. has a question for us. Hey! The writing's on the wall. Um, here is another dilemma for you to debate over. It is the future. You are in a restaurant and being served by a robot waiter. Do you say thank yeah. you? Yes, of course. Um, it depends on if it says anything to me. It's not. Yet. Maybe I just acknowledge it with a smile. Is the Sorry. is the robot can do it and then you piss on it? I don't eat there because I I think that humans should still have jobs because those robots are going to take all of our jobs. They can take my job. I'm okay with that. They're going to take everyone's jobs now. Yeah, well, no. What's what? Well, even them? drug dealers. Uh, yeah. Yeah, robots are easier. Just stick it on a drone, fly it to your client, boom, done. <laughs> um, I do. Yeah, I I don't see why you wouldn't say thank you. I do. What if you've What if you've been in this civilization for so long, and these robot, let's say slaves, have been in action for so long that they're just ubiquitous. Everyone's used to them. In that instance, you might not say thank you. No, I would. I'd still say thank you. No, you wouldn't. I know I would, because I'm, I'm a nice person. You right I, now I, would. I, if they I opened a I'm robot diner now, like. tomorrow, you would say thank you, yes. Yes, I say thank you as it is now, and I've been around humans for hundreds of years. Doesn't mean I'm going to not say thank you. Is your nephew's nephew going to thank the robot in the diner? I don't care. Ooh. Be honest. That's the real question. Is your daughter's mother going to say thank you in the robot restaurant? <laughs> no, because there's no Amgod daughter. To, that daughter does not have is, a mother. Is robot restaurant or Orga 8 a better <clears throat> name for this episode? Um, Orga 8 robot Orga restaurant. 8. Orga 8, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Can you just stop? Can you stop mocking my nightclub before it's even existed? Thanks. What? 
<laughs> the mysteries that go on in your head. It's quite a Mr. On place, isn't it? Charlie O'Neill 06 has this to say. Hi boys, loving all the cars. Can you rank all the swear words from best to worst and justify why you chose the number one pick? It would really help me mentally. Thanks. <laughs> okay, well, the C-U-N-T word is is, is probably... You could just say it. The C-U-N-T no. word. C-U-N-T. <laughs> It's not, yeah. I don't like that word, you know. So, yeah, you do. I don't ever say it. I'm trying to not to swear because that me that makes me... Makes you what? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make me anything. I just, you know, I don't want to swear unnecessarily. <laughs> okay, but that's not the question. What's the best swear word? Um... It's it's fuck or shit. What? I mean, what? I think fuck. Yeah, I'm I'm in agreement. Now. Why I, did I you say what like that, Jim? You think poo poo is funny? Who isn't a swear word? <laughs> <laughs> poo is my answer, <laughs> or we? <laughs> um, what about I us? Do never turn away thy light. Give heed to me and spring thy death. What's the worst swear word? Enemies. What do you mean by worst? <laughs> that was the question. Oh, right. That's I thought worst. we were talking about. Oh, I, I was answering as if we were talking about like what, uh, like favorite or best one is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the worst can you swear word from best to worst. It depends if you class some um, racial slurs as swear words. Ah, true. Because that then all of them. Yeah, they're the worst ones. Yeah. Yeah. The best the best one is uh, probably um bollocks. Oh, that's a pretty good one actually, yeah. It's a good one, but I never find myself saying it. I've been i I've been, wow, what have I been saying recently? I sometimes I like to get, you know, just a few British ones back in, you know, because I feel like I should. But I can't wanker. Oh, yeah, I I, don't sw I haven't sworn that much at the moment because I just resort to just making up words instead. I don't really offend anyone if it's just a made up word. I don't swear. So honestly, I would yes, just you say, do. When, do I when did I last swear? When we were playing Call of Duty. But that's because I got brutally killed by a noob. <laughs> brutally killed by a noob? <laughs> <laughs> Dickhead is a good one. I've been using that a bit more recently. Dickhead. A fuck nugget. That's, that's a good one. Chode no, chaser. That one's good one. <laughs> hey. I called James, um. <laughs> Let me find it. Um. I called James a, um. A cranky cock cunt. <laughs> no one said bitch. Where did bitch go? Ah, that's a good one too. Too sexist for me. Well, and pussy as well, obviously. Mm. Pussy yeah, boy. that's quite a bad one. What do you mean bad? I don't like that word. It reminds me of the Dark Knight. <laughs> I'm not even gonna fucking ask why. Yeah, don't, don't, don't indulge him. <laughs> we have a good question from. Odd Oz 62 says, If life was like a video game and you could see your final stats when you die, what stat would you want to see the most? What's that game where. Poop's what done. Game what is... game, though? <laughs> you beat me to it. <laughs> Poop's done. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, mine um, would be bogeys eaten. Because <laughs> uh, imagine, because like imagine the shock though if you're someone that has never eaten one. If there's like two or three on there, and you're like, oh, how did that happen? Um, Ruben, you eat your bogeys, don't you? No, I do not. That's foul. But I do have a, a tale that I tell of being in primary school where I watched a boy 
sneeze lots of snot onto his hand and <laughs> it's not off of the park. <laughs> yeah, I know, doesn't it just make you wanna fucking fold inside out? <laughs> and that boy was James. <laughs> um my Does I everyone just have be. a primary school memory of just that one kid who sneezes and just so much snot fires out of their nose? <laughs> it was June for me. Jim. What? Yeah. <laughs> no, that's actually seared into my brain, like in primary school. It was this kid called Elvio. He sneezed. <laughs> Elvio? <laughs> yeah, I couldn't. I swear to Christ, I couldn't like, look away because it was like so much. just quantity. <laughs> and and like every. Yeah, the whole class had to stop because it was like all over the fucking table. <laughs> and all uh, over his hands. And, and you know that like kind of stringy web. Yeah. So it, was like it was literally connected from his nose to his like hands and between his fingers. Everyone <laughs> 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 was just like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you must have been holding it in or something. <laughs> fucking like a year's worth of snot just fucking. Just... <laughs> I remember having a, uh, a a bad incident at school. Um, it was an exam, like a GCSE exam, and it was so quiet. I didn't want to cough, <laughs> so I held the cough in like as long as I could, <laughs> and, <laughs> and then it fucking explodes out of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I I remember that that, that that exam um anxiety where you didn't want to actually make any noise to be the one that everyone looks at. Yeah, yeah. yeah I hated you, that. At the time, you have like a, a cold, and you need to yeah. like you can't like blow your nose, and it's like <laughs> you gotta go like you, if you can't if it's not in your nose and you can't like blow out, you've got to like suck it in. <laughs> In, it would be far too low, so you've got to do like really sneaky suck. <laughs> a sneaky suck. That's a good name for the episode as well. A no, it would get demonetized instantly, like um, a sneaky milky suck. jugs was pushing it. <laughs> <laughs> for the last one. <laughs> Trying to do stealthy sucks in the example is very difficult. Stealthy sucks, did you say? I, I believe it. George is not okay, says James. Worst song you've ever heard, go. <laughs> Poetic gonna, justice? No, no, you're gonna have to give me a second. I'm gonna pull up my list. Okay, I'm, I uh, should I activate a death laser then? I, have, I officially have a list of like the worst songs. So I'm gonna I'm gonna absolutely blow your minds away. This is gonna you're gonna hate it's four or five seconds. Ooh. It's That's not even a bad like take. Song a lot. I like that song. One it's five seconds till Monday, and then it's another twenty-four <laughs> hours till Tuesday. <laughs> Make it back home Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Is that is that your only answer, James? Yes. It's fucking um, there's, there's two more for James to end this episode then. Uh Dick the Head says question for James, how many war zone wins do you have? Uh like six. <laughs> yeah, six. No, that's a lie. No, it is oh, six. Fine. He had five and he got one more yesterday. He did he? not have five. He had like three. No, no, no he, I think he had five. I, I, okay, I believe yeah, it. I'm just a good player, but I'm not I'm not try hard, so if if I win it just means I'm better than everyone else. Sorry. So you are a tryhard? No, because I don't use the group D-R-A-U-W. You use the M13, the like almost identical weapon. No, they're, they're different. Mine is slow firing, therefore better. Okay, and finally, James? Yep. Can James explain the gif of Michael Jordan from Space Jam that he always uses in the replies of the JAR Twitter account? Can I, can I explain it? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, that's not Michael Jordan. It's Kobe. Kobe. <laughs> <laughs> it's Kobe. That's not Michael Jordan, is it? 
<laughs> it's, it's Michael Jordan, isn't it? No, is it? <laughs> no it's Kobe. <laughs> <laughs> I hate Alex. <laughs> what have I done? I just asked a question. I didn't fucking say shit. <laughs> That's it. That's it. I'm doing. I'm just sick of you guys now. <laughs> you, you done? Yeah, I'm fucking done. I, I'm yeah, fucking yeah. head up. <laughs> okay, Orga. <laughs> right, anyone else got anything to say? Before we round off? Um. Kobe? No, I don't think so. James is hosting it. Why do I have to end it? No. <laughs> Kobe? Go on, James, please. <laughs> Thank you for watching this episode of the um, Kobe cast. Um, we hope you have a very safe time in quarantine and that uh, you are good and have a lovely day, and we'll catch you on the next episode of the Angry Joe Show.